Welcome back to the Super Sunday Challenge. We have been ever, ever so close to completing this challenge, but close and no cigar. I want to go the whole hog today and complete it once and for all. It's the same format, same lineup, and the same 40 minutes on the clock. Three, two, one. Starting with Fuseli, and there are certain letters that are not allowed. Um, <laughs> It's an old joke from my live streams. Let's go baldy. <laughs> okay. Nothing for baldy. One time in the row is a lie. I want all new letters. Let's go with Shire. We have an I and an E. Oh, one's a lie though. Hmm. We need vowels there. So maybe we want to go with I and E again to see if either of them is actually a lie. Maybe if we go with prize, that might help a little bit. Interesting. So it's actually R was the lie there. I was thinking rain, but that I's got to move. Maybe that? I can't think of anything. You know what? I'm going to go with rain anyway. Um. Okay. Useful. Useful. Oh, and it was an A to Z. So it means we definitely know it's a starter with an R. I think then gonna be r i something e something r let's go with river it repeats a letter no but very good it's not river it is rivet rivet nice good that turned out pretty nicely rivet's the word and we're on to myrtle rivet Lost some lives, but we got our R and an I. Let's go with tried. Moves that R and I. Oh my goodness, we got lucky with a D. Yes. Now I'm thinking it's going to be grind, possibly. Could be grind. In fact, let's just go with grind. It is Myrtle. I was thinking last week it was going well, but we had some problems. So let's not get too excited too early. Warmall. I think we've got to start with an S. Common starting letter. I think let's go P. Maybe E or I. Let's go I. Yep. And then the R. And let's Let's go E. Let's go Spire. S and R in position. Perfect. That's really good. It's got to be, I think, this. I think A. No. Yes. Yes. Start. No. We have got the A. Slowly getting there. If it's an S, I think it's got to be a C. I'm Scarf, but that's not going to work. Scary. Scary it is. Woo. Word peaks now. What's the time? 34 minutes. Doing all right. We've got to go quickly. Word peaks. Rivet. One letter is is huge grind and scary now we're cooking now we are cooking excellent and i think we're looking at again with that s starter h is so common Ooh, that's unexpected no in which case got to be e i think that's got to be w and i think that's r i think it's sewer and it is it was that middle letter that was a bit unusual polygonal mini and we got to run rivet grind scary and Actually, ooh, I think it's going to be E at the end because it can't be E. You've got to think it's then going to be S. I reckon it's going to be O, O. I reckon it's going to be loose. No, no, but it is an oose word. Moose could be moose. It is. <sighs> I got a little nervous there, I have to say. You don't want a loose moose about this hoose now, do we? As we move on to a terrible joke. I don't know what I'm doing here. Crystal Crossel. <laughs> oh... Rivet. E helps. Grind. I. Damn. Not good. Scary. That's huge. Sewer. Ooh. Interesting. Don't know what that means. And moose. I think it means there's an E. There's definitely an E, but it isn't there, interestingly. Oh, yeah. So there's definitely an E. I think E must be either third or first. There is a C as well. We actually don't know about the R or D. Actually, no. There's no R. Right. <laughs> we know there's a C. Could it just be the word check? Could be quite good. Let's go with check. No. Don't know about the K. Less likely now. I actually don't know what this is. That surprised me. C H E, but not C K. I'm so, I'm a bit I'm a bit stunned by that because there's no double right. There's no E here, right? So like things like cheer or anything like that, they're all out. Just going through, seeing if there's any other letters I can't think of at this point. I was thinking to me it was chewy, right? But can't be W. Can't be Y. Both of them are out. There's F's not been used. What about the F? Where do we Where do we go from here? It won't be plural because it won't be. Because it's not like, like Wordle doesn't have plural words, right? So it's not going to be chefs, for example. <sighs> wait a sec. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. We actually don't know about the I. But no, we do know it can't. So I think it could be chief, but it can't be. We know there cannot be an E there. We know there cannot be an E. It, we know there is definitely an E. We know it cannot be fifth. We know it cannot be fourth, right? So it has to be third because that C and H are definitely greens, right? So that E is definitely green. So it's C, H and E definitely there. It's K that's just probably rubbish. 
just run chefs, but I, I actually don't know what this is. Ooh. I've just realized looking at this, uh, we have a problem here. I actually saw that A, I haven't proven that A is not in there. So it's going to be C-H-A. And annoyingly, it's going to be, well, hold on. No, it's not going to be cheat. I thought it was a 50-50 between cheat and cheap. But it can't be, because look, rivet, no green tea. It's cheap, surely? Oh my goodness. Well, we wasted a lot of time on Crystal Crossel because of that A. Can we actually complete this challenge? We haven't got any losses. Wow, look at that. The V is huge. The V is absolutely huge. And we go with scary. And we go with sewer, which I can never seem to type in properly. Moose. And an O. And cheat. Oh, it's covered. Covered is the word. It's all there. Nice. Well, I got it on all greens. Okay, that was nice and easy. Very happy with that. Uh, we're on to Spottle. With Spottle, I always get very nervous when I see three letters available. That means this is going to be horrendously hard. But let's go with Chase. I reckon there's going to be lots of double letters. Right. We have an E. We do have an E. I think I'm going to chase the E's later on. Let's go with lots of vowels. Let's go with Trend. T, N, and D. Nothing. I I think we need L for sure. I'm actually worried about the Y as well. I think it might be good to go with a Y. Maybe we go with O. Maybe we go with Lori. No way. L and O. That is absolutely superb. Now, is it that? Probably not. We know it's not E at the end. So it's something E, something. That, most likely. It could be lover, couldn't it? It could be lover. R at the end. We haven't got any R's yet. Could be lover. Maybe then what we do is we go rivet. Because if we think it's going to be lover. Not lover. Oh, it's definitely an ER though. Definitely an ER. Oh, it could not lover. It could be lower, couldn't it? Could be lower. What else could it be? I can't think of anything else other than lower. Let's go with lower. Oh, it is. Wow. Okay. That's Spottle. 23 minutes. It's not impossible. It's just not easy. Let's go with Pix Letters. And we got to run with lower. All right. Uh, let's go Fees. It's a classic uh, tactic. Helps us get an idea of what on earth is going on here. Right. There's no A's or O's, interestingly. Or I's. So the beginning could start with that. That can't be an E. And it can't be any other vowel. So I actually don't think it's going to start with H. Actually, if it starts with a vowel, what on earth could it be? It could be a U. Always worth checking. Then what on earth is this? It could be an F, I suppose. Or a Z. But it's not going to be a Z, is it? It'll be that. That doesn't seem right. Weird. I've got absolutely no uh, clue on this one. I always think having the starting letter is really useful. Mm. I actually can't even think of a good filler here. <laughs> I'm really struggling with this. I've never seen such a difficult pattern for Pix letters. So we know we've got a top letter, right? It's a top letter. So second one. I'm just going to go with Hitch. Wow. Okay. We're in a lot better position now. We've got two letters. Have got an I. Thank goodness. What on earth is going to be next to that H? Because there's only a number of letters. Probably a T, isn't it? Could even be an H. It'd be like sixth, couldn't it? No. And what goes next to that? Should we run width? Confirm that T. What on earth could it be though? Right, so what goes in between that, that, and that? Can't be X. Oh, no, it isn't. Ninth, isn't it? Ninth? Let's just double check before I send it. Will that work with the letters I've got? Yes. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Because it didn't test. Let's go ninth. Wow. That's a horrible word for Pix letters. I'm glad we got it, though. 16 minutes left, which is going to be a tall order for all of these games left. We've got to go with lower, and we've got to go with ninth. So I think N could be the lie here, and there is actually an N. Then we've got nine, a T. I kind of want to go infer, maybe. Okay. I think N actually is the lie. And I think it is I and T. I and T. Let's go with... It won't be style, but let's do it anyway. Wow. Right. We think it's N. I and I have changed there. Could be I is the lie there, and actually is there. That does fit. I think now L is the lie. And we know I can't be the lie. Mm. We need more letters. That's the trouble. We go Shire. R is there. I think we need more vowels. A and U are not tested. This is a problem. Let's go with Daunt. Whoa. Hold on now. Let's check this T journey. A minimum them two letters. But here's the thing, right? For that N to be true, those would have to be false. Let's say that is false. Those are the two lies there. But then N can also be... So I, I think this strongly suggests that N is the lie there, is, which means T is definitely at the end, and T is therefore in the word. Unfortunately, it seems to have been pretty much consistently signaled. What do I think about this I? Well, this I 
is most definitely it's two greens, but that doesn't necessarily mean it. They are consistently yellow. In fact, I has never been gray. The statistical possibility is that it may not be green, but it's most likely going to be at least yellow. If we're confident about this N, then this U is definitely in there as well. T, let's say for sake of argument, right, it's that. And it'll be that, all right, because it can't. Say it's L. Say it's R all the time, right? Say R is just not in it. Because I'm thinking it could be like guilt, for example. Guilt or built. That's kind of where I'm thinking. Does that fit with the pattern? Well, N would be the lie there. Oh, and then that would be the lie because that needs to be green. It fits the pattern. Do we go with guilt it's built no it's quilt no it's quilt i don't believe it why didn't i see the third option i'm so annoyed at myself 10 minutes to go failed at fibble Ah, well. Oh, <laughs> why didn't I? I am not good with QU words. I can't believe I didn't see that. Ah, well, let's run with lower. We've got 10 minutes to salvage a bit of pride. we got ninth and we got quilt. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. This would have been beautiful. Sweet. I actually don't know where it is. Uh, I'm going to go wacky. Where is an A? Ah, uh, it's probably like AW. Why can't I see this word? What? Can't see this. Let's go SW. I'm just going to go swaps. Ah, oh, it's a wait. It's a wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I would have got that. Fine. A wait it is as we go into Exordal. We've got eight minutes left. And we've got to run with lower. We've got to run with nine. We've got to run with wilt. And we've got to run with a wait. Hmm. Only six letters. I think then we just run with... Let's run with another fill. Let's go stack. I couldn't have been stacked. A wasn't there. Oh, and there's a W as well. Have got an extra letter of S. Let's go with baggy. All right, have got an extra G. Eight letters. We now need to start getting words. Unfortunately, not many greens at all. So this is going to be a very hard solve. All right, what does the word meaty? Meaty means... I'm thinking we may just go with another filler because I just literally don't have any ideas. Let's go with Puffy. Oh, no way. Two Fs. Two Fs. That's lucky. Ah, meaty. I know what one word is. It's going to be awful. And we get a bonus guess. Brilliant. Gutsy. It's got to be gutsy. That's a fantastic word. Awful and gutsy. Great. That's awesome. We've got five minutes left to get a bit of pride. Awful and gutsy are the words. Hoping this will be quite a nice, easy solve for words. 500. Okay, we run lower. All right, ninth. I'll take that. That's quite useful. Quilt. Very useful. We go. We need to go away. Awful. And gutsy. Hmm. If it's Q, then it has to be U. So the fact that we've got one green and one yellow means Q is definitely out. It means U or L is definitely in. In fact, U and L are both in. One of them's in the right place. That means L has to be yellow. O. That's a lot of letters ruled out. Look at this. Look what happens now means there's definitely one A. We know the L's in. Oh, we know the A's in, so there's no F. Ah! We know U has to be yellow because of Gutsy. L has to be green. And we know G, S, and Y are all out. And this is 100% known. This has got to be the one. What would go after the L? Because we know it can't be another L. Could be a D or a K. They're the more likely ones. D or K. Unless it ends in A. A pretty much has to be second, right? A has to be second. I think it's bulk. Bulk. I think it's got to be the word bulk there. Bulk? No. Ah. Oh. Ah, to co continuing my terrible run of 50 50s or 30 percent i think the word is cork yeah it is we would have got it we would have got it we were so close i can't believe it i didn't get fibble i didn't get fibble it was guilt versus built versus quilt that was our only failure not only did we complete the challenge in time all the games apart from fibble so close so close i'm feeling the next week we might be able to complete this challenge i'm super super confident thank you as always for tuning in it's whatever you got planned for next week i hope you have a good one i'll see you soon